Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Holly Wolf here and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. Burr, I'm outside. I wanted to actually do like a little garden tour, but in the middle of the winter, uh, I do live in Canada. I am a zone 5B and it's snowing right now. And I just wanted to kind of go around the garden and show you what this place looks like in the dead of winter because it's so different from the summertime. So, as you can see behind me is my Tory gate, which honestly, in the winter, I love it. It looks so great. These planters have seen better days. I kind of didn't finish them. <laughs> so the whole Christmas vibe, winter vibe here isn't the best. Um, but the Tory gate looks absolutely gorgeous. Last year, I actually had um, my reindeer, I have a beautiful lit up reindeer that I put here for Christmas. I used it at um, Wolf Manor this year, but um, I really, really love this whole area. I kind of chilled on the Christmas lights at this house because I was so focused on the other one. But I think next winter I'll maybe spruce up the Tory gate again. But it looks gorgeous. There's so much white, obviously, right now. And as you can see, the pond is also frozen over. Um, a lot of my statues are covered in plastic so that they, you know, don't get damage on them. This water feature, she's great in the winter, don't need to cover her. And yeah, my beautiful magnolia tree has buds on it, but she is, of course, bare. I have a lot of trees that are bare, just like my cherry trees, which are getting huge. Um, <laughs> Yikes, they're getting very, very large. Um, but yeah, I can walk fully on the pond. <laughs> yeah, um, I think today is like minus 10. It's pretty chilly out. We won't be out here for long. I'm not wearing a coat. <laughs> I didn't want to like get my mic all like constantly. But uh, yeah, so this is the pond. All of the evergreen trees are doing really well. This guy grew so much last year. This beautiful Japanese tree here um, spreading really nicely. Love that so much. And we have some boxwoods. This beautiful Japanese maple has all of its buds. She'll be coming back next year. This will be its second winter, so I know she's good. I have some bamboo back here, which is an evergreen, semi-evergreen. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at her. Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> so I got a beautiful little bamboo back here. Um, and yeah, so we've got some more evergreens in here, semi-evergreens. This planter, I can hear Nala. She's very mad at me right now. This planter has a lot of um, evergreens and, and shrubs like that. We have some yews in here, but a lot of it is um, beautiful perennials that will come back in the spring. So I'm really excited and hopeful that this area really gets crazy this year. So yeah, looking good, looking pretty. I have yet to show you the new greenhouse structure that I've been building. We tried to put as much of it together as possible before all this snow hit. She's not fully done yet, but you can kind of see it in the background. Woo -hoo -hoo, it's chilly. Oh my goodness gracious. And this is crazy. This is the most drastic change from the winter to summer. And it gets me every year. Um, here's what the garden looks like in the winter time. Oh, can I even get in here? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so it is just this, just sadness central. All of these vines have nothing on them. I have to cut them all back soon. Um, but as you can tell, the biggest thing is this guy. Look at her. She's not done yet. Uh, we got it up so that in the spring, when it gets warmer again, I'll be taking off every panel, stripping all the wood, sealing it properly. I don't know if I want to color it, color it. I don't know if I want to paint it white or my dark grayish, grayish black again. Um, I love the dark tones, but white is really good as well. 
Um, these are all recycled and found antique windows. And it's got beautiful double doors at the front. Bam! And here's the inside. <laughs> Look how cute she is. She's not massive. But this is going to be a great place for my seeds as soon as it warms up. And I'm going to have two planters on both sides here, most likely for peppers or tomatoes, things that really crave more heat. Um, yeah, but uh, she's, she's, my dad broke a window already. I'll be replacing that one. Luckily I have spares. <laughs> but I got all these beautiful antique windows last winter. I wasn't of course, there's sirens everywhere. My goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> I wasn't able to construct it last year because I broke my collarbone. So we did it almost, we, we actually put this up in December, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, she's going to be super cute. I'm so excited. I'm going to plant some beautiful things around her. But uh, yeah, let me just show you the rest of the garden. It looks like trash right now. Just covered in snow. It looks like there's nothing here. I made some little, <laughs> someone on TikTok called them bug snugs. So I, you see these little teepee forms? There's a bunch of leaves and food scraps um, that I've kind of put in the planters. I filled them all with leaf mulch and then built up some bug snugs so that like winterized bugs, need homes, ladybugs, all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, this is what she looks like. She is just the saddest looking thing you ever did see but it's crazy how much different this looks in the spring and especially in the summer and fall. So I just wanted to like film some stuff here to give a really good contrast. In Canada, especially people, I get a lot of comments about how we grow things in Canada because we do have seasons. Um, so it's very, it's always just very fun being like, this is what it looks like. And then it just looks like a polar beautiful opposite in the winter, but as you saw, and I have to bring stuff in. I have a few banana plants inside right now. I have some other tropical plants over at Wolf Manor um, that I overwinter. There's things that I have to bring in so that they survive here, um, but then I bring them out again in the summer and they thrive. So yeah, I'll just show you one more quick area and uh, <laughs> the sunroom right now. <laughs> I just changed up my bed. So the sunroom just has a giant mattress in it. I'm so sorry. Oh my. What is happening? It's snowing. This is like the third snowfall. People don't typically know how to drive yet. Probably accidents everywhere today because it's a little bit of snow. But yeah, um, again, this area just looks obviously so different. My little steel planter beds over here, my birdie boxes. And then we have this other archway that typically leads into my woodsy area. I built these planters last year and they have beautiful boxwoods in them. So right now they still give some winter interest. This originally had, um, ooh, what are they? Rose of Sharon and I hate those things. Um, so I ripped them all out. They were very old and not taken care of. And I put little beautiful boxwoods in here. So I still have some winter interest, which is great. Oh, this tree is splitting again. This is crazy. This tree in the winter time, check this boy out right here. He splits. And then in the spring and summer, he closes himself back up. It scared the crap out of me <laughs> last year. The other Catalpa did it too. And I was like, just, yeah, see? <laughs> it was just like that. I was like, oh, but uh, I, I, I want, I want to keep him because I love him. He's a mess, but I love him. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's the garden in the winter time. It's crazy. It is crazy how different it looks. But I'm really, you know, excited to really garden again this year. Like I said, I broke my collarbone last April and uh, it definitely put a damper on my <laughs> whole gardening season. I wasn't able to do a lot, wasn't allowed to do a lot. Um, obviously, I couldn't dig or do any planting until what, like November? <laughs> and by that time it was too late. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get to work. All right, but for now, let's go back inside. It's cold out here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.